Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're gonna be working on the E46. We finally got the car back from the body shop once again. So as you guys can see here we have the actual quarter panel or the over fender molded onto the car. I decided not to go with the hardware. I just personally felt like it was it looked a little bit out of place having hardware in the back versus the front. Now I've seen some cars that have um, over fenders or like fla actually no flares in the back but they don't have a lot of hardware now these panels were actually bigger in size and um, to me it required more hardware hardware than i expected or that i wanted and it just didn't look right i didn't feel like having all these uh, bolts on this side while not having anything up front so i like things to kind of match and be proportionate so i just felt like the right thing to do was to just be to get the over fender molded onto the car and what they did is the guy ended up um, molding it to where it looked like it was part of the car as much as possible these are actually more aggressive than the factory m3 uh, quarter panels the only issue is that fitment when it comes to the wheels now i have to get uh, more aggressive wheels for the back so i'm running a 25 millimeter spacer on these on this this side already and uh, i'm not happy with the outcome you can still see that it's not flush i mean it's a lot better than the other side but i mean i'm really picky about my fit man i feel like this is off by maybe eight to ten millimeters more that it could stick out and it'll look good at that point but the thing is that i'm actually having a rubbing issue right here so i'm gonna be raising the car up just a little bit i mean i already did but i feel like it needs to go up just a little bit more and hopefully i can create some clearance between the tire and the bumper and I have to worry about it rubbing too much because once I get it wrapped, I don't want the tire to be, you know, peeling off the wrap and burning it off because then that's just going to be a um, nasty situation. I don't know how bad it could get, but, you know, we're trying to avoid all that. So, unfortunately, since these are actually wider than the M3, I have to get a new set of wheels. So, these are going to be up for sale. Uh, these are 9.5 plus 22 all around. We're gonna have to get a different set of wheels at some point. For now, it'll do as long as I can get it to drive and stuff without rubbing, we'll be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car, take the wheels off, and then uh, adjust the height, which is super easy. And then uh, we'll throw the spacers on on both sides and then see how it looks. So before we continue with the video, I wanna give a shout out to Simply Car and Fiber for sponsoring today's video. So you guys know I recently made the switch to an iPhone or some of you guys may know but I was a big uh, Google Pixel fan and eventually when it came to video I realized that iPhone was better. So I made the switch and I ended up going with the case from Simply Carbon Fiber. So quick little story, I was at the barber shop yesterday and there was a guy on the chair next to me on his phone and he accidentally, or the phone accidentally slipped out of his hand and sure enough the phone happened to drop on the cement floor and uh, when I happened to look down the phone had a bunch of stress cracks in the back which for one is kind of surprising because you would expect normally on iPhones the screen tends to crack but I never looked at the front but the back was cracked the guy was shocked and sure enough it was because he didn't have a case so if you don't have a case I highly recommend that you get one and that you check out Simply Carbon Fibers phone cases because at the same time not only are you protecting your phone but you also get something that's stylish and you know obviously especially if you're a car person car people love carbon fiber so definitely recommend it it looks good the quality is nice i've dropped my phone already on the concrete here in the garage as well and thankfully nothing happened so the case did its job i'll have the link down below for you guys to check them out so thank you once again to the guys over at simply carbon fiber for sponsoring today's video now let's go ahead and continue with the 46 I went ahead and adjusted the height and uh, this looks a little higher than I expected. Hopefully um, it settles down. I think I have to drop it a little bit and have this settle down. Um, I think it should drop once the spring settle. It should drop a little bit which is probably the height that I'm looking for right now. I have enough clearance. So I think if I, as long as I can get my finger in here I should be okay. Um, I just wanted to drop just a little bit. If not I'm going to have to come back and readjust them again but overall actually i like this fitment a little bit better now that it's sitting a little bit higher obviously if i keep this height i can push the wheels out even more which is probably what i'm wanting to do the moment that this settles down a little bit or where i adjust the height i think i should uh, be able to get the desired fitment that i want so i'm about to go ahead and take it around the block and see if it settles down a little bit 
and if it doesn't then I'll have to go back and adjust the height and lower it just a little bit more all right guys so here we have the E46 at its final ride height I believe I don't know I look I'm looking at the front I like how the front sits but then when we come around to the back I had to raise it up because it was rubbing and I feel like I have to raise up the front now I got a slightly bigger gap in the back but the thing is if I lower it anymore this piece right here tends to tends to rub like it's it's already rubbing on the bumper still even at like certain certain dips so I don't know how much of a, a difference it'll make I mean I might drop it just a hair just because it's so easy to adjust but I mean I think that's the height that it might have to stay at if anything I might just raise up the front I don't know though I, the front I think it looks good the back uh, I'm uh, I'm torn between the uh, the ride height right now because I was I was gonna take it to get an alignment but I'm still not sure I'm still not satisfied there's there's more tweaking that I need to do also I do have to take the car back to the body shop to get some things um, some minor things fixed but after that once we're done with all that we should be ready to uh, wrap the car I have new tail lights at home I have a diffuser for the car I have a front lip for the car as well I'm also gonna throw on the other um, M3 mirror after a while just sitting on it I decided to just keep them even though I can't run the wires so once I set them I'm just gonna move them set them manually and then from there I'm just not ever gonna touch them so it doesn't really matter that they're not gonna be wired up or anything so I'm just gonna leave it like that man look how dirty these are damn wonders of uh, having white wheels but anyways um yeah so from here the rod height looks good the front looks really good in the back it's all right um i think i might try to lower it just a little bit obviously i gotta adjust the bracket over here for this bumper so it can sit tighter to the body but if anything once i do that it should create that clearance that i'm gonna be dropping so i think i should be okay I'm gonna adjust the height one more time but other than that I mean I know it doesn't look like much right now but once I get it completed once I get a wrap you know that's gonna change the look of the car a whole lot better like I love the 46 especially with the quarter the quarter panels molded I just think it looks a lot better and the width of the rear just matches the front looking like a drift car right there but yeah guys just want to give you a little update on the 46 i know i haven't posted much bam look how good that looks yes sir i'm just gonna go back and double check the heights so i'm gonna pull up in the garage and just check the heights from the side skirt the edge of the side skirt to the ground same thing with that and just make sure that all four are even yeah this project is coming together slowly but surely that's gonna do it for today's video just wanted to give you guys an update on this build it's gonna come along once we get the wrap done everything else is gonna fall into place i have new uh rubber uh moldings uh the wipers over here are new whatever the cow I got a new one at the house which is gonna look a lot better because this is trash so once the car is wrapped it's gonna look more complete I have everything ready to go um, obviously I still have the issue with the headlight that I have to fix the wiring it's got to do something with the wiring so I gotta fix that let me know what you guys think of the project thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one